Hello everybody, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance, where I tried to represent it in the previous episode. What did we do? What did we do? I can't remember, but anyways, I've been tweaking a few things, a few bits and bobs. Um, who, who was it we played as? I can't even remember. Um, but let's, uh, let's go and jump in as, um, I'm, I'm very torn on who to play at the minute. Do you know what? We've already completed all his... That, that was it. We did Eden, didn't we? We've already completed all of his completion marks, but I, I heckin' love this character. Let's play some Tainted Lost. Let's play some Tainted Lost. It's been a, it's, it's been a little bit of time since we last played him, and I didn't do Mother on camera, so we will try and do Mother right now. Why not? I did Mother off camera because it was indeed a major grind, but why not? Why not play a bit more of this character? He's hella fun. I enjoy him a lot. And I hope you guys enjoy watching him. I'm sure we'll have many a death this episode. Because that's just kind of how this character goes. Uh, and you watch me get the D1 now. That I've um, thrown away my holy card already. You watch, you watch. Better items. Oh, indeed. But uh, one thing that, that I haven't really done much of. Is play this character since I used the item quality. Um, like rework tweak mod that I'm using. Uh, should mean that the qualities that, uh, that Tainted uh, Lost gets. Actually make a bit more sense. No more um, Serpent's Kiss being tier 4, and it literally doesn't work for this character, apart from giving a small amount of poison. We can't get Black Hearts because they don't matter, and even if, we, even if we could, we have to take contact damage to do so, so not the greatest of advantages, really. But Compound Fracture here, an item that I'm very, very fond of, and I feel could massively increase our damage output so far. I mean, as you, as you can see, that with the stats we've got, being able to shoot over rocks is fantastic. I'm very, very happy with this. Um, don't really know where Secret Room's going to be this time around. We do have uh, Mrs. Fruity Plum here. The fruitiest of plum. No, this is just regular plum. Do you know what? That was basically unavoidable. You were moving at the speed of sound. You great big sack of shit. Yeah, apparently Compound Fracture is not the item to use on this uh, on this big old fella. But hey her. We'll grab this. And we'll go alt path. We have no holy mantle anymore. But I ain't gonna let that stop me. I ain't going to let that get me down. We shall push forward into Dross. Let's find Henry. That, that'll help us out. Okay, got to remember that this guy double dashes. Yep. I'm going to say, let's find Henry. Th this guy could kill me very, very easily. Uh, luckily, we've managed to kill him first. That's a very, very difficult enemy for us there. <laughs> Compound Frex should help out a bunch, though. Ooh, dippity dang. I did not realize there'd be extra enemies in this room. I very, very nearly got hit by one of those spawning there. Extra bombs rather nice. This guy could be a pain. Don't get hit by the explosions. Let's go to our boss straight away. Colostomia. Okay. Okay. It's, it's going to be one of those boss fights, is it? It's going to be one of those boss fights. Good old Colostomia. Literally, there is not a safe spot on this fucking screen. Okay, good. We managed to get rid of most of the gas. We've got him into butt form. We've managed to get him into butt form. Okay. Okay, the double bomb, the double bomb blast got me. I can, I can accept it. I can accept it. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. Pop our holy card. We've already seen our item room. Dirty mind ain't bad at all. Dirty mind ain't bad at all. Dirty mind can provide us some extra protection because the dips do block shots. So could find some nice teeth in that. Could get uh, find some comfort, some safety in in the dips. I mean, also it's just better damage and they're cute as hell. Like. You really can't discount the fact that they're cute as hell as one of their major selling points, really, can you? Uh, almost got hit there, but don't worry. I didn't. Right, a few more of these poopy boys. Thank you. My crew is growing ever stronger. I'm going to open this straight away. Got to remember that we don't have to go to the... Um, we don't have to go to the alt path straight away. We can dip onto the normal path first and then make our way back up. It doesn't matter. Um, okay. Pop these poops. Pop these poops. Pop these poops. So many poopy boys. We're, we're at our maximum poop boy level now. We've got as many as we could possibly carry. No point destroying these. Do not hurt me. Good, good. Right. Go, my poopy brethren. Go. A swarm him. I command thee. I'm really hoping at one point he's just going to teleport into the middle of our poop crowd. And just take an absolute beating. Also, yeah, these dark balls that he he poofs out, they ain't getting close to us. Because as soon as the, as soon as he uh, pops one of them out, we just summon, uh, we just like sort of hide back into the, we do the Homer Simpson into the hedge tactic. 
and slide back into our poop army. And it can't, uh, it can't touch us. We are losing poops left, right, and center here, but there's some poops out back of the other room, so that's okay. Uh, we get ourselves a speed up. I'm actually not upset about that at all. Speed up's pretty good. There's also a golden chest back here we should go and, uh, we should go and grab. And also a potential secret room just down here. I'm most likely going to say that it is there. Hey, Mr. Dolly, for a tears up, that's good. Probably here. See if we get ourselves a lovely little item. We did indeed, but it's a garbage tier item. Um, considering it's a tier one item, kind of annoying to get, really. Um, yeah, tier tier one items really shouldn't be something we find too much of on this character. Uh, but apparently, that one doesn't count for us. Anyways, let's uh, let's go down to our alt path straight away. We might as well this time around. And we have our holy card still this time as well. We actually have our holy card still. So don't have to worry too much about that. Um, double golden chest if we get the keys. Rather nice. Ooh, this room's also rather good too. Uh, should be able to make the shop work. And we get some golden dippies. I love it. Yes. Golden dippies. And we've got some fool's gold rocks there as well to pop. Which with counterfeit pennies is actually going to be quite nice to have. Um... I find that these uh, these rooms in Downpour tend to have a lot of enemy variety compared to the regular floors. Okay, careful. Obviously, Creep can't hurt us, but him throwing up those shots can. Okay, these little fellas can't get anywhere near us. Still don't have a key, unfortunately. Would very much like that. That was very close. Just get in the corner here and let, let these guys protect us. Come on, a single key would be really nice round about now. Okay, we got some, uh, oh god, oh no, the dippies, they're making this harder than it has to be. Do you know what, we're really not going to get a key here, are we? We're really not going to get a key. That's upsetting. Oh no, no, we got one. Yay, almost a travesty. Almost a travesty. Although, do we want to go into our shop? Because we do have 20 cent, and we could buy a key. I'm going to do it. Ah, oh, do you know what, it's worth it, because we got a holy card. It's worth it because we got a holy card, but that was slightly annoying. Uh, we can't bomb into our secret room, into our item room here, so I think... I'm trying to think, where the hell is our secret room here? It's probably here, right? Yeah. And so we might get a key from this. We unfortunately didn't. Uh, right, so... We can either get a bunch more money or go for second secret. I think second secret's likely to be a better for us. The only thing is... It's likely to be in multiple places, so... We, of course, missed it. Right. But we've got a second holy card, and we do get planetarium chance for this as well, so... It's not all bad. Yeah, just just die to all my poops, please. You know what? Thank you. My golden poopulus. I'm, st I'm staying in my poop army. You will not hurt me with your weird little annoying flies. My poop army will save me from them. Save me from this nothing I have become. <laughs> It actually works. Right, grab that. Eye of the Occult. False PhD is also really good. Um, but Eye of the Occult is like flat stats. Duality would have been good too, but I, I think the flat stats are a little better for us right now. Um, and yeah, let's, let's carry on going down. Sadly, no additional key for our item room. But like I said, we get the planetarium chance nonetheless. We can't be too mad about it. Uh, plus 20%. Although I've still yet to see a planetarium ever appear on the alt path. I don't know if that's just unlucky or a bug or what. I have no idea, but I've never seen one. There's a key right off the bat. We don't have to miss our item room this time around. Also, Dirty Mind being super, super helpful here for us. Really, really nice to see. Okay, we've got our mirror dimension here. Good, good. Doing well so far, though. We don't have anything. We don't have anything super killer yet. We don't have anything that's really going to turn the tides for us so far. These guys not turning to other enemies is pretty good. Uh, bounce around the room. Uh, nah. Plum flute is very good. Should be instant boss kills, or at least relatively instant boss kills. I'm very happy with that. Good, good. Uh, we got ourselves two of clubs there. I mean, it's only two bombs, but I just want to hold the holy card and make sure we've got it in our hands. Uh, shop, definitely we want to go in here. Diplopia. Um, I reckon we we carry Diplopia into our boss fight and see if we get a devil deal. And we go from there. Okay, this enemy can easily hit me. 
Luckily it didn't. But it could have done. Good, good. Yeah, we'll carry this into here. Because if it's a stat upgrade boss item we don't get a devil deal, then I'll take it. If we get a devil deal and we can get both devil deals, I'll also take it. Yeah. Nice. Perfection. Here we come. Yeah, stat upgrade. I think we just diplopia and get double of this. Yep, that was perfectly, perfectly great. And we can come back and get Plum Flute bla Black back, even. I'm going to get that. That. Yeah, that works out super nicely for us. Do that. Dad's Lost Coin. Bit of extra luck. I know we've already got a ton of it, but it's never a bad thing to have more. Right. Don't need to walk into the fire there. We can just go straight in here. And so far, so good. Oh, Tinted Rock there as well. Uh, actually, we got it on both. We got it on both realms. That one's just some bombs, but I suppose it's bombs for bombs. I can't be angry. We should get quite a lot of our poop guys back here. Sadly, that's not going to really do anything for us. Yeah, we should get most of our poopy boys back here. Good, good. Extra key. Oh, that was close. I almost got hit to a really dumb reason then. Another one of them. Yes. Do not give me that, though. I do not want that at, at all. Goddamn Dirty Mind is just protecting the hell out of me right now. I love it. Um, Boss-wise, we can easily kill this boss with the, the setup that we've got again. So let's do it. I really don't think it's going to be any extra effort for us. Especially considering this time we can use Plum Flute. Last time we couldn't. This guy could hit us. I forgot that guy existed. Good, good. Lots of extra chests as well here. Almost got him in one um, in one go there. That was really good. Come on then. Yeah, big bastard. Easy, and we got that as well. Very, very good. Okay, this has put us in a very, very good spot. Very advantageous for the next floor. We've got our knife piece. And we are good to go. Of course, there's still plenty of stuff that could go wrong here. I mean, we only have one holy card protection right now against death. It's not a lot. Small rock, maybe? No, but we did get the exact same payout. So that's good to know. You always get the same payout on rocks that are in both dimensions. Both sides of the mirror. We do have seven bombs. We can easily get through to our next stage straight away, which we will be doing. I'll take the risk. I don't... I'm not too worried. Like I said, I've already got this unlock, but I did, I did it off camera, so I want to try to do it on camera again. But this takes off a lot of the pressure, because I don't need to win. I'm just having fun. That's kind of a, a good weight off my shoulders, to be honest. <laughs> not having the pressure of needing to get this unlock. we got Ash Pit here. Uh, Curse of Darkness? No, this is just Ash Pit. Okay. I think it's just the lighting. Confused me a bit. Check in here. Not found any boss trap rooms yet. Surprisingly enough. Normally as the lost, they seem to be really common. But not for us at the minute. Good, good. Obviously lots of chests. Be very careful of the trap chests. Don't want to lose out on a holy card to that bullshit. Okay, this is a hard room. Good, good. Th those are rooms that we basically just have to kill before the, uh, the ghosty boys get near us. Or at least in my opinion, that's the best way to do it. Right, take out you. Gooder. -er. You're going to brimstone, but that's really not going to affect us too much. No health up, but not that, not that we need it. It would just be another item in the basket. Right, keep it going. Ash Pit, of course, has the tendency to be a bit more difficult. But if we can keep our poops going, which I know is getting harder and harder, the less poops show up. We can actually um, keep a nice a, a nice wall, a nice protective layer around us. But they, seem, they seem to be common enough. Common enough. Not seen the item room yet. Let's hope for it pretty soon. This room again. Again, this is another room that we got to try and kill as quickly as possible. So much money in the chests at the minute as well. Cursed Eye... Cursed Eye isn't actually bad for us because we can't get teleported. 
But honestly, with the fire rate we've got, I don't really want a charge shot. I'm definitely going to use this guy here just to make this room a bit easier. Thank you. Not necessary at all, but... Also felt very necessary. Uh, card readings is fine for me. I'll take it. Uh, going to allow us to get into secret rooms, boss rooms a little bit faster. All that, all that good jazz. Right, nice one. Stay out the way of the uh, of the rocks. Just got to remember that those guys carry on doing their thing well after the room is over. They don't give a damn. Okay, be careful here. This is a, a room that's very tricky for us. If if we uh, accidentally kill these stony boys in the wrong places. We got it there. Item room, what do you hold? We'll go for the mystery one. Bloodshot eye, sadly, not very good. Um, items haven't been too kind to us lately. Unfortunately, we don't have our fruity plum available. But honestly, this is a boss fight where I'd say it's least valuable. That guy moved in a way that I did not expect for some reason. And okay, it's back to back time, baby. It's back to back time. We've just lost both of our holy cards within half a second. It happens. Do not fear. These these enemies just move in ways that my brain can't comprehend. Move in ways my brain just doesn't understand. At least this guy's giving us some dips. Cannot fault him for that. Do not walk on the hot rocks. The hot coals do still hurt us. Excuse me. I think you're aiming that. Normally you go right up the middle. Don't switch it up on me now, big boy. Oh, that was close. Okay, these guys are on the move. Good, good. Please stop. Okay, we got it. Oh, a little worried. A little worried. Um, Incubus or Abaddon? I think Incubus is better. Extra shots, of course. Um, we're only on Ash Pit 1 at the minute. Right, let's go. Sadly, we are in a pretty, pretty shitty spot right now. Very close to death. Go straight to the item room. What? Okay, I I am now 100% sure that Tainted Lost's ability to not get bad items just isn't working. Because I, I, I might have to uninstall that quality modifier mod. Because there is absolutely no way he should be able to find Able, right? Like, let me just go and check this. I'm fairly sure he literally shouldn't be able to find Abel. Um, tainted Lost. Um, right. The second mechanic uses the item quality system. Items with a quality of two or less have a 20% chance to be re-rolled when encountered. Oh no, so he can, he can still come across them. It just, not very often. I thought he couldn't come across them at all. Tooth and Nail's really good here. I am misinformed. That's me being silly. Um, still no holy card, unfortunately. We're really, really banking on one of those showing up pretty soon. It's okay, though. It's okay. Definitely get you in there. Rainbow poop, fellas. Not really super useful for us, but I'll take it. Good, good. Just go do our boss fight right now. Probably should have should should have waited until I had my uh, thingy available. Holy shit, you're almost dead already. What the hell? Oh my goodness. I gotta say, I didn't know where, where that was going. Mum's heal. Boom. We're through. Right. Go back. We got we got to unfortunately do the rest of this floor so we can get our uh, knife piece. Probably end up dying on this floor, I'd say. If I was to guess where we're going to die, it'll be on this floor. It just... I don't know. This is a hard floor to do without getting hit at all. And there's a lot of just things that can go wrong for us here. Crack that open. Crack that open. Right, stay out the way of those big rocky boys. You need to go, dude. You're... God damn, that guy's tanky. We're, we're going to end up dying to a chest or something. I just know it. Oh, we got um, the, the split rib or whatever it's called. Jawburn. Nice. Oh, ho, ho. look at all that sweet, sweet money pie. Good, good. I reckon it's going to be that my... Uh, what, what's going to happen? Like, the way I'm going to die. My uh, my little fellas are going to end up... Do you know what? I'm not doing any extra rooms. I don't need to. 
um, are going to end up... My little poopies are going to end up blocking one of the, the chests. And we, I'm not going to realize it's a trapped chest. Right, we shouldn't get hit on this because we do have flight. So this is significantly easier than normal. But, I mean, it's not it's not impossible for us to get hit by any means. It just it should be less, a lot less likely. Because we can basically outspeed Mother and get to the end before she can hit us. Before she can even dash at us. All right, let's go. Yeah, we should be able to keep a good lead on Mother, as you can see right now. We just got to be careful we don't accidentally, like, walk into a fire or something. I feel like that's something I would ve be very likely to do. Oh, look at this. You, you, you're, a, you're a big old bag of bullshit, Mother. You're a big old bag of bullshit. Just calm your face. Right. Let's go to the next floor. Right, mausoleum it is. And we are in a situation now where we have no holy card. No defense of any kind. I knew it was coming. So, yeah. We're, we're a little bit... We're a little bit sort of playing it on death's door at the minute, really, aren't we? But, hey her, We've made it further than I was expecting to. So, what's the big problem? I know we can go to secret room, but I like going to item room first because we might get magic mush. <laughs> Something like magic mush is very nice for us here. We're still getting very regular uh, dips at the minute, which is really good for us. Tooth and nail is, is sort of my saving grace at the minute. I really hope it saves us. Yeah. Good, good. Oh, God. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I had to be very quick to react there. Very, very quick to react. Um, I'm going to do my boss now. I know it seems foolish because a lot of the bosses here are very hard. Um, luckily, we got one that's a little less difficult. Although not easy, just a little less difficult in my opinion. Uh, mainly because we might get booster pack. We didn't. But I was just thinking, if we got booster pack, we could have maybe saved ourselves for one minute. I'm going to let these bombs explode while we're in here. That just scares me, having them in there. Because I'll forget and I'll die to them. I just know I will. Right. Um, crack that open. Crack this open. Crack that open. Dirty bed, no thank you. Wait, what else am I looking for on this floor? Shop. We need to look for shop. Kind of annoying because I feel like I'll just I'm just gonna end up dying looking for the shop. I, I kind of just know it, but I've got to look for the shop. We like it's it's literally our most likely place to find a holy card. That and golden chests at the minute, honestly. Golden chests are a really good source. And skulls as well. I should be bombing all these skulls, really. Skulls were a good source. These enemies are like, feel like guaranteed death to me. So I'm glad we escaped that one narrowly. Come on. Oh, those wooden chests can drop cards. I'm really hoping for the best with them. Yeah. We're good. Just get out of the way, stupid mask. Ah, we do have to take this because it could give us a uh, holy card. But yeah, that's unfortunate. We made it through this floor at least. Um, any skulls that we see on, on our way back, let's make sure we uh, do our due diligence and bomb them. I've been kind of forgetting that skulls are like our most optimal way. Check the secret room real quick. Doesn't like there's much skulls for us to bomb really, does it? No, no, no. Down we go. Right. Gehenna 2. Mausoleum 2. One of the two. Gehenna 2. Again, secret rooms are great, but Cricket's Head is better. <laughs> oh, the Cricket's Head didn't give us the full bonus this time. Because we've already got the massive damage bonus from Magic Mush. But that is two really good items back to back there. So there's two cards already. Not what we needed, but... Empress Hermit. Hermit is a must. 
That's really, really good. Oh my god, we got one. We got one, people. We got one. Does that pill that's in the shop turn into a card if I walk back in? It should, right? <gasps> yes! Praise be the absolute luck of this man. Now, there's still plenty of ways we can get hit and die on this run. Like, do not... Do not think that we are safe in any way, shape, or form here. Right. Just keep it, keep it going. Careful of the, of, of the foot. Yep, the foot is there. Good, good. Grab that. Pop in here. Grab that. And I'm less than I'm less than excited for this, I gotta say. But we might be able to be okay. Depending on the attack she ends up doing. And we got lucky. We got lucky, although all of our poops are dead now, which is scary to me. Very scary indeed. Either way, let's keep her going. Let's keep her going. And honestly, this floor is 100% a floor where we should just do this. Although I didn't know it put us in the boss fight. I thought it put it in the, in, it's in the room before. Uh, yeah, I gotta say, we're gonna lose a holy card on this. We're gonna probably lose one or two. We got lucky there. We only lost one. But we just got booster pack. Yes. Got <laughs> two. The luck is on my side today. The luck is on my side today. And we've got two card slots. Since when? Since when? What's giving us two card slots? Oh, starter deck, I think. Is it starter deck? Either way. This is some good stuff. Where, where's this hand exactly? There we go. What on earth is going on? <laughs> right, just in case, I'm going to use one of them and take one so I know for a fact I've got a holy card ready. And I've got two in reserve. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay, this is just secret room this time. And it's a bad secret room as well. Thanks, game. Um, although, this might... Yeah, I was just about to say, this might take us to the boss fight, actually. Thinking about it now. Right. In we go. Obviously, this could go bad. We just got to be ready on the holy cards. One flute there is good to help. The occult thing is really, really helpful too. Right. Just keep an eye on the occult. Okay, that's first phase done. Second phase is a bit harder for the for the lost, I think, in my opinion. Oh, so honestly, I the Occult is messing that attack up so much. Do not... I just want to say, don't do that attack again. And of course, what does she do? That attack again. No. Okay, this is some bullshit. This is some bullshit. You are doing the attacks in the wrong order and in the worst way possible here. Stop. Okay, this attack doesn't get I the Occult. Okay, so we're without Holy Card now. So yeah, I was going to say, we're basically dead. But there you go. Fantastic run nonetheless. I don't care because I've already got the unlock. I was hoping we could get the victory there. We were very close, but honestly, Eye of the Occult was our undoing. Um, a very good item for the first phase, but the second phase, it basically ruined it. Um, if we hadn't had that item, I definitely think we could have won that just there. Um, maybe I should have saved Plum Flute for the second phase, but essentially her doing that attack with the lines two times in a row is what secured our death there. Um, she did that twice in a row, and because of the way Eye of the Occult works, the tears, instead of just falling down, were being pulled closer towards her, which were misaligning them. So when the next line of tears came in, rather than the, the previous line being where they should be, they were actually in the only place that was safe for us to dodge. So, unfortunate. I reckon we were about about another 10 seconds of, ki of firing, maybe less, off of killing her then. Very, very close nonetheless. A very fun run. Um, of course, Tainted Lost just showing off how powerful it can be. And hopefully me showing off how much better I've gotten at Tainted Lost. I feel like... 
for an absolute whim of a run with nothing in particular that was stellar that run. Like, we had some really good stuff. Obviously, Magic Motion Incubus were really uh, good. Dirty Mind at the, at the start and Eye of the Occult early on was a really big help. Uh, and of course, the just absurd amount of holy cards we got towards the end there. But basically, Mother, at least for me, at least for my previous attempts with her, you really have to have something very defensively heavy, some invincibility like a card, a chariot, something like that, or... Um, Algis or something that's going to keep the flak off of you. And I thought Eye of the Occult would be that thing. I thought it really would um, fill that gap of making sure that we don't take too much damage. Um, basically, all the tiers stay. But I, I kind of didn't really account for the second phase being, um, being pulled around quite as much as it did. And it was unfortunate. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.